the most powerful section in its price range, laser navigation, multi-floor maps and bunch of great smart features on top of the exceptional wet and dry cleaning, time to show you the dreamy D9. Welcome to Tech for our channel, my name is Michael, so happy to see you around and if you enjoy inspecting cool tech and if you have accidentally landed on the channel then consider subscribing because that's what we do very often here. Uh, this is the Dreamy D9, uh, the robot whose qualities I've just mentioned in all these awesome specs you've seen a few seconds ago. I know that they sound very unrealistic for a price tag of $400, but it's real actually for Black Friday. A friend of mine managed to buy this for $280 and this is how the robot ended up with me testing it for a few days and figuring out if it's really good enough. And uh, that's a Xiaomi ecosystem product. The easiest proof is um, the smartphone app. Uh, it's actually me home. I can I can show you the, the first page with most of my Xiaomi devices, and this is natively used by um, Xiaomi for all their cloud-based smart home devices. Pretty nice, I have to say. And now, the thing is, we need to inspect, because if everything that is being promised about the Dreamy D9 is a reality and it performs that well, it's gonna become a very popular robot vacuum. So now you know that the price is pretty attractive, apparently it costs around $100 less than the Roborock S5 Max, and it is comparable to the lately popular Viomi robots. The latter two brands are among the most capable iRobot Roomba competitors, at better price of course, and being truly premium and reliable. So unboxing is definitely interesting, one of the smallest packs of robotic vacuums I've seen in the past months. Inside the box, we start with this big, thick user guide and also this single sheet leaflet for quick start. Underneath the main unit, I'm going to highlight the major specs in just a few moments, there's the charging cable and dock, some accessories, a side brush and the mop with the water tank, which at first sight seems to have electronic controls. The material feels good to the touch and the robot has this well-perceived white color this is an excellent choice for a robot vacuum, because we tend to associate white color with cleanness. Let's open the deck, take a look underneath. Here's where we find the dust box. It looks to be a large dust box with a HEPA filter, guaranteeing that close to 100% of the even smallest pieces will stay in. The filter is replaceable. Unfortunately, there is no spare filter provided in the pack, since the model is brand new. Pretty tough to get any spare parts, but I guess soon enough there will be available replacement filters on Amazon and AliExpress both. Let's explore the vacuum capabilities. It weighs 3.8 kilos, has suction power of 3000 pascals, 5200 mAh battery, 0.6 liter dust box, up to 2 cm inclines capability, multi-floor map support, laser detection system, anti-collision and anti-fall sensors, carpet mode, Wi-Fi, at least that's what we are being promised to get. Generally, these are most of the top-end features for robot vacuums this year, and Dreamy are supposed to bring them to us through the D9. If these specifications sound unfamiliar, let me help. Section power is the best in class and close to 50% greater than Roborock S5, for instance. The design of each component is smart and precise. It's all about the details, but look at the main brush. You can detach each one of the sides and easily remove the hair that is stuck, something that most 2018 and 2019 made robots don't offer. Large wheelbase with possibility to climb onto high carpets, and of course a large, really large battery that can last around two hours and a half, Considering the fact that through smart algorithms most vacuums need about a minute per square meter, you can expect that the Dreamy D9 can easily cover areas of up to 200 square meters and even more. I still find it hard to believe that all of that comes for such an attractive price. Before the first use, a good idea is to put it on the charging dock, make sure the battery is full and add it to the smartphone app. Now, some cleaning examples. By the way, there's no remote included, so if you need some manual control, you can always use that part in the smartphone app. 
The D9 can be super powerful. If you run it at 3000 pascals, the noise is going to be less than 65 decibels. If you're cleaning flat surfaces like wood and tiles, the standard mode should be good enough. Know that when the vacuum senses that there's fabric surface underneath, it's gonna trigger the carpet mode, boosting the suction power to a greater level in order to clean better. The quantities of dust that it collected at home are slightly better than what the Roborock S5 brings home. The rice test confirms the good performance, returning more than 59 out of 60 grams, and I was not even using the maximum suction mode. Also, I find the cleaning algorithm to be better and more precise, and it's obvious that some of the components have simply become better in time. The vacuum feels more jumpy, it handles better room edges, and seems to clean better under the kitchen furniture. You will notice that in terms of height, it's exactly the same as the Roborock S5 that I still use at home. The wet mopping now. Water tank is going to fit around 270 milliliters of water, which is quite enough for coverage of a large room. The recommendation is to avoid pouring any abrasive chemicals or liquids inside. Simply clean water would do the trick as well. Yes, thanks to the LiDAR system used, the map generated is very precise and therefore the web mopping is covering all the areas that the robot can reach, except carpets of course, but unlike the Viomi V3, there is no Y-shaped movement, which is obviously a more efficient way of wet mopping. Still, results are satisfactory and up to par with some of the best robot vacuums out there. Let me say a few words about the app. Luckily, it's a well-known companion called Mi Home and it's supported for both Android and iOS. It was the best news of the day for the D9. I used the same app for the Roborock S5 and the configuration flow and features seem to be more or less the same, however, a bit less features for the D9. The robot was launched with just a single map support. The promised multi-floor library is still expected to arrive as a firmware update, therefore I can't show it at the moment. The rest of the functions work though, you can see how the map can be edited. There are ways to define cleaning zones and no-go zones. You can restrict the vacuum cleaning in certain area or limit its access to certain parts of the room if that's needed. Through the Mi Home app, you can do the rest of the config, do not disturb hours, maintenance tasks, including firmware updates, checking the battery status and so on. And yeah, you can at any point of time start a cleaning action even if you are not at home. If you have the Amazon's AI assistant at home, you can also use the voice commands to control the dreamy D9. My Mi Home app was set to United States server. I added the Dream skill. Weirdly, it doesn't appear in the first results page, although being the only skill containing this word. And the integration after that was rather flawless. From these few days I've had the chance to test the D9, I'm gonna highlight the stellar performance, the smooth integration, the good sounding voice packs and lack of issues or complications. Of course, there are certain things I believe could be improved, and therefore here's a list with the drawbacks I found on the current firmware in the end of December 2020. There's no physical remote control, the phone app is a good alternative, but you know, habits. I wish there is a Y-shaped wet mopping movement, better map editor and generally a bit more features and options to configure from the app, but I know, it's clear, more awesome functions will soon arrive as a firmware update, and right now, even like that, the dreamy D9 seems to be the contender for the best $400 vacuum robot of 2021. So, this is everything important I found out about the dreamy D9. Strong suction, many smart features, reliable algorithms, and unbelievably close to being the perfect robot vacuum. At the end, I'd like to say a big thanks to my dear friend Chris, who was the reason I could get the vacuum this early. Note, Chris is a friend of mine, just enjoying cool tech as most of you do, so yeah, this video is in no way sponsored or related to Dreamy. The D9 just happens to be an awesome robot. 
Thank you very much for watching this episode and if you enjoyed, then take a moment and hit the thumb up, then the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet, and feel free to share over social media so that the video can reach more and more people. I'm Michael and as always, been a pleasure to e-meet you here and see you next time. Bye!